Today we are uh, putting together the True Living Essentials two-tier bookcase. I purchased this from the Dollar General. Assuming are the feet. You're going to need five of these round legs. Insert caps. We need the screws that are provided, the side panels, um, and shelf top, bottom, and the backing. So I started to put it together, but unfortunately, due to technical difficulties, my camera was not on. So. We're going to try this again. Anyway, we have already separated out our pieces, which I showed you earlier. And the only thing I've done is taken out the hardware. Now, unfortunately, I, I already had put uh, most of this together before I realized the camera was off. So, I've taken this piece back off. Now, the first thing you want to do is take these little pieces that look like bottle caps. And you're going to find the piece that's labeled C and it will be uh, black on top and it will have the five holes in it which I've already started. Now what you want to do is you want to put this inside and you want to place it in and then you want to hammer it in. Now I'm going to zoom in on this so you can see it better. What you have here is it's got the indent in here. So when you go to hammer it, you don't want to hammer it just on the edge here. Um, and I tried it with the with a rubber mallet. It doesn't really work. You got to use a regular hammer. So when you go to hit it, you don't want to hit it just like around the edge. You want to hit it half on this ring part and half on this center part, like so. So I'm going to show you here. Okay. Place it in as, now I've already hit this end, so it's not, when you go to do it, it's going to be catty walloped. It's not going to be very straight. So you just kind of have to go around. 
This is going in much easier than they did the first time because I actually had it in and pried it back out. But mainly, you just want to go around evenly. Now, what you can do is look from the side here to see how uh, flush it is with the rest of the board. And you want it to be as flush as possible. Now, you're going to take this piece with the little piece that sticks out and that is going to screw into this. And now you have your four um, legs on the bottom. So now we're going to pan back out and do the rest. Okay, so now we're ready to start putting the whole thing together. There's really only three steps to putting this together, so it's not that hard. Now, when you go to put this together, you want to have your bottom and your two shelves. Your two shelves are the ones that are labeled B, and they're going to have uh, one finished side, and they're going to have a raw side, and they're labeled B. And then here on the edge, you're going to have one finished side and one raw side. So you want to make sure when you're putting this together that all the finished edges are facing the same way and all the raw edges are facing the same way. So, this is the other shelf, label B. So, I want all my raw edges to face upward. So, what I'm going to do, actually I want my raw edges to face, yeah, upward. And that's how we're going to do it. Okay, so, these little legs will kind of hold it up. So, I'm going to put the bottom here. I'm going to put my second shelf here with my raw side facing up and then and always make sure that the finished side is this way finished side is here and then the last one raw side up finished side at the top and we're ready to go now we need our side panel the side panel is marked A and you'll notice that it has three sets of holes in it Again, you want to make sure. Now, both sides are finished, but you have a raw edge. So that raw edge has to match the other raw edges. So when you go to put this in, it really doesn't matter which side. Um, doesn't look like it matters which side goes to the outside or the inside. But the raw edge needs to go up. Now, this is kind of bowed slightly. So I want to, um, I want to put this on the other side because I'm going to pull it inward, it's bowed out that way. This one has no bow, so I'm going to put the raw side up. Now this, I'm going to let it fall, it'll be fine. And now to start with, I'm going to start by putting the base, the back part on. And in order to do that, I need two screws. So I've got um, my packet of screws, and I've got my, they look like Phillips screws. And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm going to line up the bottom and make sure that it lines up really well. And then I'm going to put the screw in. And then slowly make sure it fits. And by hand, I'm going to start screwing it in. To like, and you might have to pull it out to find the little, uh, there's a, a starter hole drilled there. And you may have to double check it. But make sure that when your screw goes in, it looks like it's going in straight in line with everything else. And this doesn't look like it's lining up properly. So.
Now it's best to get both screws started. And I'm going to bring you over here so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, what I'm trying to show you is that I've got these two uh, sections lined up. And if you look from here, it's a little bit a ways, but I made sure that when I put the screw here, I made sure that it went in the hole here. I started to tighten it. So let me see if I can set this camera down and give you a close-up. can pull this closer I'm holding it now you want to make sure that it's not coming out uh, here or on the inside I'm not tightening it too much because I want to get top screw tightened up okay. so, I be able to see that okay. now once I've got both in there I'm going to put something like the box on the inside here I'm kind of making sure that the uh, two shelves are square with the box and then I'll continue to tighten down the screws now I'm not going to tighten them too tight just that's good and that's good. Now it's not wobbling and I don't want to really mess with it because right now it's only attached at this point here, these two points. As I keep adding more shelves and tightening it, it will become stronger. But for now, I don't want to push the uh, integrity of it until it's all put together. Now that basically you've seen close up going to go ahead and finish this up. So I'm going to remember that I have the open, the non-finished side up. And then I'm going to start with the bottom. And I can kind of make sure that I get the, the pre-drilled hole down here. And then do the top screw. And move it around until I get it in the pre-drilled -drill hole there and now I'm just going to start to tighten the screw. You don't want to use a electric screwdriver for this. Um, it's best to do this by hand and be delicate. Make sure that you're... Okay, now that you've got the screws in a little bit you can kind of move it closer and I'm making sure that it's flush here and down here and then I will continue to tighten the screws. I'm going to hold it so it doesn't move. to doing because this is the easiest way for me to uh, whatever I'm sure 
is still on. And we got seven minutes. Okay. So, very. Now, if you're uh, a little concerned about turning it, then you can always just go to the other side. But I want to do this this way. Now that I've turned this around, I need to make sure that I have uh, everything lined up like it's supposed to. And these boards have finished edges all the way around except for this one spot. So it will fit either way. Now I wanted to make sure that I put it on in such a way because it was bowed. And I'm going to, I'm checking that. And the bow comes this way. So I'm making sure that I put it in in a way that it will pull the bow towards the center. Now, again, We have the proper side facing up. The raw side is where the backing needs to go. All that's left is to put on the backing. And when you look at the backing, you see that there is a um, non-finished side and a finished side. And you may be tempted to put the finished side outside but that's going to go up against the wall, so don't forget. It may seem simple, but it's a mistake that I've made in the past. So be sure that you um, make sure that the finished side goes in, and that way you know it's uh, you know it's it's going to show through in the back. So obviously this is not the way to go. You want the uh, folds to run up and down and double check it to make sure it fits and if your uh, piece is square it will fit perfectly. So the best thing to do is go ahead and start at one corner and you notice remember you have these pieces here steer clear of that. Go ahead and start with one here and then here um, and just don't Try to nail into this. So we're going to look. Um, I'm going to kind of fit it all the way around. It fits almost to the edge, pretty much. And we've got these tiny, tiny little uh, nails. There's no holes in this pre drill. So you just have to kind of wing it. Now it's going to start it a little and then try to hit it with as few hits as you can. Um, now what I'm going to do is go ahead and check the top and make sure it's nice and tight. Try to be conscious of how thick or how thin these shells are so you're getting, try to get the nail in the center of these pieces and, you know, try not to have them come out the outside. So now I'm going to check down here, I'm going to put one here. far over but we'll see. And I'm gonna put one right here because we know there's raw edge here. Oh 
no, that's going, we know that's going to come out. So I might as well just take the whole thing out, start over here. Don't try to go back in the same hole because it will continue to go in that wrong direction. Okay, now this I knew was going to go this way and not out. So, now you want to kind of check both top and bottom and push down, which I'm going to go right in the center here. to run some across where the middle shelf is, it's best to measure it out. So that's what I'm going to do. So before I put the nails in where I think the second shelf is, the easiest way, rather than going through the hassle of trying to measure everything out, is if you look on the sides, you have your two screws that are here uh, where the shelf is attached. So what I've done is I've taken this piece of styrofoam and I've lined it up with those screws and the ones on the other side. And I have my line and I can feel around that that is where the shelf is. So that's the easiest way to make your line. And then it's totally up to you. If you want to put the uh, nails in the shelf, the center shelf, the instructions don't say to use it, to do it, but I like to put a couple in and live dangerously. We'll see how it goes. So 